Good Monday morning, Gallatin County friends. We are on day 36. And today I come to you with a book about Llama Llama. I've read a Llama Llama um, book before. Um, it was the Bully Goat one. But this is Llama Llama Mad at Mama. And so before I start, I want to ask you, how many of you have gone to the store with your mom or your grandma or whoever, and you didn't really want to be there, and you were bored, and you threw a big fit, and um, you just wanted to go home? Well, I have been there. And honestly, since all of this started and we've been... Um, homebound, I guess, for a while, I have been the only one that has been to the store. And um, I heard my daughter say the other day that she will never complain about having to go in the store anymore because she actually misses it. So this book is about Llama Llama going into the store with his mama and throwing a big fit. So that means it's going to hit habit one, be proactive. Um, you are in control of your behavior and you should control your behavior even when you are in the midst of something you don't want to do. And it's also going to hit habit five, seek first to understand, then be understood because um, mama and baby llama are going to have to understand each other. And I think mama does a really good job understanding how her child feels and she tries to um, think win-win, habit four, to make sure that both of them are happy in the end. So this is habit one, habit four, and habit five today. Llama Llama Mad at Mama. Here we go. Llama Llama having fun, blocks and puzzles in the sun. Time to shop. It's Saturday. Llama Llama wants to play. First the shopping, then a treat. Mama Llama gets the seat. Llama dreaming in the car. Wake up, wake up, here we are. That probably made baby Llama a little grumpy too. He kind of fell into a sleep, a nap, and then was awakened when they got there. So he didn't get a full nap. So he's probably going to be grumpy. Great big building, great big signs, lots of aisles, lots of lines. Llama Llama out with Mama, shopping at shop -a -rama. Yucky music, great big feet, ladies smelling way too sweet. Look at knees and stand in line. Llama Llama starts to whine. What do you think the author meant by ladies smell too sweet? It means they probably have on too much perfume. Clearance sales and discount buys. What is little llama's size? Try it on and take it off. Pull and wiggle, itch and cough. How does llama feel about trying on clothes? How do you know? What in the illustration tells you how llama feels? Shirts and jackets, pants and shoes. Does this sweater come in blue? Brand new socks and underwear? Llama Llama does not care. Have you ever felt like Llama? Cheesy puffs and OT crunch. What would Llama like for lunch? Llama Llama doesn't know. Llama Llama just wants to go. Loaf of bread and cream of wheat. Llama Llama wants his treat. It's no fun at shop -a rama Llama Llama is mad at Mama. He's been holding it in this whole time and it's been bubbling like a, a soda can like, that you've been shaking. So what's gonna happen? He's gonna explode. Flying pasta, spraying juice, paper towels, rolling loose, coffee, bread, and chips galore. Shoes and sweaters hit the floor. Look at him. He's throwing a fit. What do you think Mama's going to do? 
crash the cart and smash the signs. No more waiting. No more lines. Out go socks and cheesy puffs. Llama llama, that's enough. I like how the artist, the illustrator, made it red around him. Why do you think they use the color red? Because red is usually the color that shows anger because our face gets red when we're angry. So I like that they use that warm hue, that color, to make it um, evident that Llama is very angry. I like that the illustrator did that. Now here's where Habit 5 comes in. Please stop fussing, little Llama. No more of this Llama drama. I think shopping's boring too, but at least I'm here with you. So she's changing his paradigm. She's telling him, I think it's boring too, but I like it better because I'm with you. Let's see if we can make this fun and get the llama shopping done. Let's be a team at Shoparama. Llama Llama shops with Mama. What habit is it when you work together? Habit six, right? Sweep up pasta, mop up juice, wrap up towels that are rolling loose. Pick up the puffs and find the socks. Put the shoes back in the box. Push the cart with Mama Llama. Almost done a shop -a -rama. And you can see that Mama was very understanding. He's no longer sitting in the cart. She felt like maybe he needed to walk off some of his energy. And it makes him feel like he's helping. Time to leave. The shopping's done. No more waiting. Time for fun. Out to the parking lot. Not too far. Where did Mama leave the car? And you can see there is a big difference in his face now. How is he feeling now? Snap the buckle, grab the box, put on brand new shoes and socks. Say goodbye to shop -rama. Llama Llama loves his mama. What was the treat that he got? Where did you get that information? Did the author tell us? Or did you get that from the illustration? That was a really good book. I really liked that. And I made a connection to it because I, as a mom of two girls, sometimes take them to the store, or before we did all this, before COVID-19, um, and they would complain and fuss that they were bored and were ready to go. And I've been where Mama Llama has been. Have you been where Baby Llama has been? Can you make a connection to that character? Do you understand how he felt? Has your mom ever been creative and tried to get you to help at the store? That's just a way of thinking win-win. Guys, tomorrow's Tuesday, day 37, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.